All right, welcome back to another one. This is the second installment in the steps.com series we're doing. In this one, we're going to look at a couple of things you will want to do right off the bat to um, to make your workflow pretty smooth. So first thing you'll do is set your default label option. You can see the drop down, and if you don't have any of the basic options that you'll be printing on, go into manage and pick the ones you will use. And you can take this as an opportunity to deselect the ones that you know you will not be using and get rid of those. All right, and tip number two is update your ship from address. You can have your whole address book in here. And if you will be doing mail from multiple addresses to save you a little bit of time to go ahead and do that now, just copy and paste them in and You'll be all set. And then when it's time to ship, you can just change the mail from selection and you'll get the most accurate rates, the best savings, and you will not have issues down the line. All right. Number three, your reference notes. You can print reference number or notes. You can use it however you want. This is really helpful if you have a package come back. And that reference number or the order number right there on the label will save you time from opening the package. And you can go ahead and pull up the order, contact the customer, double check the address, and then throw another label on there and it is out the door. And the last tip of the day, tip number four, add UPS to your account. This is going to give you the option to save money many times and give you other shipping options. Just go through these steps and follow on screen. It's pretty simple. You walk through, click, click, and then you add it. And this will give you your own UPS account number that can be used to ship from UPS.com and schedule pickups and everything else like that. So it's not just UPS or stamps.com. It is an actual UPS account. All right. I hope these tips help you out and gonna save you some time and make you get the most of your stamps.com account. If you have any questions, please let us know. If this helped you out, please let us know by way of a like or a comment, and we'll see you in the next one.